Hello everybody, this is Math Jedi V, and today we will be attacking the 2019 AMC 8 problem 24. The problem reads, in triangle ABC, point D divides side AC so that AD to DC is 1 to 2. Let E be the midpoint of BD, and let F be the point of intersection along BC and line AD. Given that the area of ABC is 360, what is the area of EBF? So the problem gives us some information. So let's label that on a triangle. So AD to DC is 1 to 2. So we can label AD to DC 1 to 2. And E is the midpoint of BD, which means BE to ED has to be 1 to 1, because they are the same. And it also gives us that the area of ABC is 360. So for sake of simplicity, let the bracket notation denote the area of an object. And the area of ABC is equal to 360. And the problem is asking us to find the area of EBF. Two very important theorems that you should know to solve this problem are the area ratio theorem and mass point. So let's first talk about the area ratio theorem. Let's say we have a triangle with vertices A, B, and C. And we draw a line from B to AC, let the intersection be D. Then if we let A, D be M and D, C be N, the area of triangle A, B, D over the area of triangle BDC is simply M over N. And this is because the heights of the two triangles are the same. So the ratios of the areas is just M over N, the ratios of the bases. Now let's talk about mass points. Mass points is a very cool way to find the ratios of two sides. And you can think of it as a seesaw. We draw a seesaw off, and we can let this be the fulcrum of the seesaw. Now I'm just saying this is a very heavy person. We could just represent him as a circle, and let's just say he has weight three. Then, and let's just say he's one distance away from the fulcrum. Then the lighter person, let's just say he has weight one, has to be farther away from the fulcrum to balance the seesaw off. And how far away? Well, he has to be three units far away so that the seesaw balances out. Because three times one equals three times one. So the seesaw balances. Well, we can use this logic in this problem. Let's look at seesaw ADC. Let's draw it out, ADC. So this being fulcrum is just D, and this is A, and this is C. Well, okay, this is not a scale, but let's just assume DC is 2, and AD is 1. Well, let's just say that there's this really light person who's sitting here. Let's just say he has weight 1. Well, then to balance the seesaw out, the heavier person has to be weight 2. So 2 times 1 equals 2 times 1. The seesaw is balanced. So let me put down the trunk. That means in total, D is just 2 plus 1, so which is just 3. Using very similar logic, we can look at seesaw B, E, D. We can let E be the fulcrum in this case. So E be the fulcrum. Well then, to balance it out, 3 times 1 has to equal 1 times what? Well, the mass of D is obviously just 3. So, in total, E is just 6. 3 plus 3. We also know that the ratio of BF to FC is 1 to 3 to balance the seesaw BFC out. Because 3 times 1 equals 3 times 1. It's kind of like this example here. So the combined mass is just 4. And when we look at seesaw AEF, 4 plus 2 is 6. So we can check our answer. It's right. That means that the ratio of EF to AE is 2 to 4. 
by the seesaw up. Now, let's take a look at this theorem. We can use that theorem to finish up the problem. So, let's look at triangles ABF and AFC. Well, we know that the ratio of triangles ABF and AFC is simply one third, the ratio of the bases. Because it's kind of the exact scenario here. They have the same height. Let's draw out the height. And that means that the ratios of the areas of the two triangles is just the ratio of the bases, one to three. We also know that their areas total to the area of ABC. And we know that that's just 360. Well, guess what? We have two equations, two unknowns, so we can solve. Solving, we can get that the area of ABF is 90, and the area of AFC is 270. But we care more about the area of ABF, because that's where our answer is in. Wow! We also have the ratio of EF to EA. And since, let's draw this height here. I think it's here, yeah. And since BEF, triangle BEF and BA and BAE have the same height, that means the ratios of the areas of those two triangles is just two to four, which is one to two. We also know the sum of the area, 90, we just found out. So let's write that down. Almost there. The ratio of BFE over the area of BA is equal to 1 to 2. And we have that the sum to 90. Again, we have two equations, two unknowns. So we can solve, and we can get that the area of BFE is equal to 30. And we didn't have enough space to write the answer choices, but it's just answer choices. Thanks for watching. May the force be with you. See you next time.